the Big Cypress National Preserve. My name is Brian Jansen. I'm a ranger here at the preserve. The swamps of Big Cypress are filled with a wide variety of plants. You can find trees, grasses, shrubs, ferns, flowers. The ground is filled with a huge diversity of plant life. But if you look up, you can find even more unusual plants. Plants that don't even touch the ground. These plants are called epiphytes, or air plants. Air plants are any type of plant that grows attached to tree trunks, away from the ground. These plants are not parasitic. They simply use the host tree as a place to anchor themselves above the ground. The trees are not harmed by having these plants on them. Big Cypress is home to many different kinds of air plants. Our most common air plant is a cardinal air plant. This bromeliad can easily be found in almost any cypress swamp you visit out here. Another common air plant is Spanish moss. Spanish moss is not actually a moss. It is a very small flowering plant. Those long strands you often see hanging from old trees are actually collections of hundreds or thousands of these tiny plants growing anchored to each other. Big cypress is also home to several species of epiphytic orchids like cigar orchids, butterfly orchids, and the famous and very elusive ghost orchid. By living up off the ground, away from the competitors, these plants have an advantage when it comes to competing for space and light. But that is not to say that being an epiphyte is easy. Because the roots of these air plants are used only to anchor themselves to trees and do not reach the ground, air plants have limited access to water and nutrients. These plants have to have creative adaptations if they are going to survive in such a limiting environment. In order to get any sort of nutrients or water, these plants have to rely on things falling on them from above. Air plants get much of their nutrients from dust and cypress needles that fall from above them or get blown in by the wind. Water is another precious commodity. To prevent drying out, Bromeliads, like Spanish moss and cardinal air plants, have leaves that are covered with tiny hairs called trichomes that help shield the plant from too much sun. Cardinal air plants have a cup-shaped base that collects rainwater for future use. Also, the leaves of these air plants are shaped so that dew that forms on them slides down, adding the moisture to the reservoir at the base of the plant. Because the base of these air plants contain so much water, they are a useful home for many animals. The water attracts many small insects, which in turn attracts animals like frogs and small snakes. Because they contain frogs and snakes, they are a great place for hawks to look for food. In fact, the base of these air plants can become a whole mini ecosystem hanging on the side of a tree. Air plants are beautiful and unique plants that are well adapted for their environment. But being an epiphyte is not easy. These plants can grow and thrive only when the conditions are just right, like they are here in much big cypress. Without the protection that places like this preserve provides, many of these plants would simply disappear. <laughs>